Hi, welcome to GF channel. Today we are upgrading all the discs, all the brakes of the 626 rear and front with the bigger ones. Uh, I'm going to show you three up upgrades. Each one is more complicated, although all of them are really simple, but more expensive as well and require a bit more work. All of the three start at the back with the same type of modification. So at the back, we are always the same. The difference is in the, in the front. So in the back, we are upgrading from this disc to this disc. Uh, I cannot show you. It's a little bit larger. So this is 159, uh, 259, I believe, or something like that. And this is 280. Uh, so this is from GF, this is from GW, not all uh, GWs have this type of disc, so this modification could also be for a GW, I believe also could be for uh, Prima C and 323, which have five spokes, uh, but this is basically only swap this one and this one, and you're going to need to swap this one. I'm going to get into the details of these in a bit. But this is the difference between those two. The pads are the same. Now on the front, this is where the differences come. A lot of differences. You can see this how much smaller it is. This is this ha the, those two are the same diameter. This is just ventilated while the other one is not. The, the rear one is not. Uh, so this one will be upgraded to GH. So this is from a GH. Uh, also the pads are different. This is the six to six, six to six pack. You can see it's a little bit longer, but also a little bit narrow, narrower, while this one is thicker. Uh, and of course, in order to do that, we're going to replace uh, the brake caliper as well uh, with, with the bracket that holds it. So for the rear, we are only replacing the bracket, but for the front, we are also replacing this one. Okay, uh, let me now show you why I'm doing this, and then I'm going to show you the differences between the 626 and the GW uh, bracket. Okay, so see now, the adjustable screw here is almost at the top. I cannot really tighten the handbrake much more and now I'll pull it all the way up and I'm on a dirt road so it's easier for the car to actually uh, get the rear tires to drag and let me show you I'm actually driving it the rear tires are not dragging I'm actually driving it so, I need to improve that. Hopefully with the new one, it will do. Okay, so here's the GF uh, bracket. You can actually see how there's no space for a bigger disc. But the shield here allows for a bigger disc. And that's because this shield is actually also used for the uh, GW. It's the same. Now, take a look at this one, it's important, it's curved, here it's curved. Now, let me show you on the other side, I've already placed the, the other one. So, this is not curved, this is flat. And the reason it's flat is because this is actually uh, taller, you can actually see how much space there is here, I can fit my finger. For a bigger disc and there's enough clearance for this just to be flat otherwise the other one is curved to have clearance from the disc and that's how you figure out which one you need which one bracket you need these are actually mounted only on uh, GW diesel the higher powered diesels not on all diesels but the higher powered and they have it on both facelift and non-facelift. Just look for one that's straight and that should be good. 
okay so that covers the rear part uh, it's a simple swap you just replace that thing use your own uh, brake calipers you don't even need to bleed the brakes because we are not going to disconnect the hoses here and for the front i'm going to show you uh, now okay before everything let me show you uh, why you cannot use the brake caliper from mazda 6 gg the reason is the mounting of the brake the handbrake parking brake so this is the left one we are at the left and when you take a look at how the brake is connected you can see ours is coming from here and it's attached to here so this is the u-shaped thing where you attach your your brake parking brake take a look at this u-shaped thing it actually sits down so and, uh, and this means the actually the uh, the cable is coming from here not from here so it's a 90 degree turn and you cannot use this also you cannot use the bracket it comes with it because our bracket has one guiding pin right here and nothing at the back while this one is with two bolts so none of the Mazda 6 GG things are actually reusable okay other than that I am done with the back it looks awesome and on the other side I actually have the wheel put on so we can see how it looks slightly bigger disc not bad good okay let's go to the front okay variant number one this is the dirt and cheap one this is the, the original 626 gf and as you can see there's not space for bigger disc but what you could do is grab again from the same gw where we grabbed the rear ones you can grab again only brackets and you can see there is enough space for bigger diameter disc and bigger diameter means the clamping force is on a bigger diameter even though the disc pads are the same uh, you get um, more braking power so this is dirt and cheap because you only change this part and of course the discs and the pads but you don't uh, need to remove the brake line so you have to bleed the brakes you don't need to buy another uh, brake caliper it's the easiest and the cheapest and it increases the braking uh, capacity of the car now let me let me show you variant two and three variant number two mazda 6 gg now this one of course you get it with the bracket it allows you for bigger disc which is about the same size as the gw but it's e way easier to find way easier because you just find one uh, gg and grab it from it doesn't matter the engine or whatever and they're more common so these are way easier to find there is an issue with that we're going to discuss in a bit because the same issue will apply not the same but relatively the same with the variant number three this is my choice this is the gh you can actually see this is way bigger disc so this is the gh it fits perfectly here i haven't tightened it now both of them will have the following issue this is the brake hose and take a look at that thing this is uh, a restraint so you could go without it but it's not a good idea come on focus you could go without it without this but take a look it's straight here that's straight on the gg it's a problem it's a big problem because this one uh, let me unscrew it i have placed only one screw so it's easier for me to remove it okay remove it 
like so. This one, as you can see, it's at 45 degrees, like that, uh, actually 90 degrees. See? So going straight will be a problem. So this one, this one you will need probably to grab uh, new hoses from the 6 or just go without this one. This is a security pin. You could go without it, but it's not advisable. On the GH, on the other hand, things are more interesting. I actually thought it's the same and I both knew. I bought new ones and what you what you can see on the on those is they are almost almost straight like there's five degrees or so I'm going to try to fit my own otherwise I'm going to have to see how I'm going to fit this although everything is different or everything so both variant 2 and 3 are hard to accomplish, harder to accomplish, but it might turn out that variant number 3 will be the easiest and it will be uh, with the biggest advantages. I don't know, we'll see. Let's now start assembling the GH and see where we go. Okay, so everything is mounted. There's enough play here. It's good. And even this got mounted. It's a little bit stiff here, but it mounts. This is the stock 626 GF brake line and it just directly okay. goes in like so. Even this one is here. No problems. We'll see when I start actually bleeding the brakes, will it drip from here or not, hopefully not. Okay, I will now assemble the other wheel and start bleeding the brakes. Okay, testing if the car is actually going somewhere when I leave it. So no hands on the steering wheel and the way I actually leave it I leave it to leaning towards there, it goes towards there. I leave it, leave it to going towards there, it actually go, it's going towards there. So everything seems fine, no problems. Okay, I have to drive now before I can test my handbrake if it's good or not, because currently it's not, it's not doing a good contact. Okay, testing on the same road again. Full brake, first gear, let's go. And we are also running again. That's not good. Not good. So it's not dragging the wheels. And I can sh show you that discs are clean. The new discs, you can see the silver paint here. By the way, these look awesome, really awesome, big brakes, I like it, I really do, the result is amazing, but I, have, I still have an issue with the handbrake. So I have revised those, the brake calipers here are revised and on the bench they are working perfectly fine. Uh, so I'm going to change now the uh, cables. Maybe the cables are stretched. They are 21 years old and I constantly keep the car on parking brake, which means there's constantly stress on the cables. So let's, let's change them and see if that improves the situation. Okay, to remove the cable, you have to disconnect it from here. You don't need to lift up the car as you can see. Disconnected from here, the usual stuff. Then there are two M12 nuts here. One M12 bolt right here. Then, then comes the, the heat shield which I have removed. You can see it's sliding. The heat shield, you have four M10 here, here, here and here. M10 bolts 
and then you will come up to this one which I have removed you might go without removing there is a spring that holds tension which is hard to remove without actually unbolting this one but maybe you can I don't know and then there are these uh, brackets that hold the cables you remove all of that and the cable should be good to go okay we are here on the same road same spot with the new cable you can see how low the, the adjustment screw is now fully on first gear with left hand not a good idea and go I'm dragging the tires and even the ABS and traction control lit up this is just in case you didn't notice you forgot your handbrake on and you dragging your tires behind the car <laughs> that's why you have more lights cool there's the dragging that's very good very good I'm not sure if it's going to drag on a uh, not a dirt road but that's good enough it was never like that that's all I hope you enjoyed the video hit subscribe I'll be posting more videos soon bye bye